tragic morning on Valley Roads yesterday as we lose two of our greatest. Shut down of the 15 northbound several hours yesterday. We woke up uh, yesterday morning, saw the closure, like, I mean, obviously something, something happened. Clear, yeah. We heard rumblings, and then finally the news came out. Two Nevada state troopers were struck and killed by a suspected drunk driver while helping a motorist. Sergeant Michael Abadi was just promoted to the position of sergeant last month and had been with the department for a decade. Trooper Alberto Felix joined in 2019 after serving with the Air Force. Both of them uh, passed away after being hit by the driver, 46-year-old Jamarcus Williams, who has a prior DUI back in 2007. Uh, he's in custody despite fleeing the scene after the crash. He was found in an apartment not very mm -hmm. far mm -hmm. away from the crash scene. Uh, Governor Lombardo has ordered the flags at half-staff until their internment, but uh, yeah, just ob obviously awful. And like the DUIs are obviously terrible in the Valley, but like just the distracted driving in the Valley is As a whole. Oh gosh, yeah. it's brutal. So I mean, that was that four o'clock in the morning yeah. you know what I mean? it's and they and they were there on the scene because they believed that i think there was a motorist sleeping. that they thought was mm -hmm. sleeping behind the yeah. wheel yeah on the side of the road which you know find a better place to i mean it's just yeah. very frustrating our hearts go out to the uh the, the families of sergeant abadi and uh trooper felix we know that they uh are definitely grieving this morning uh, yesterday was such a big news day. We missed this. The Henderson City Council gave the green light to building a massive 3,000 home community on top of the Three Kids Mine site near Lake Las Vegas. Have you ever flown over Vegas and you see that wheel of misfortune? I think so. Yeah. yeah. It's really yeah. cool. Uh, I love it like as an art piece, but that will be going away soon. Uh, it turns out that whole mine site's polluted with asbestos and arsenic. Oh my goodness. And they're going to bulldoze it all and clean it up and then starting next summer, start you know, getting things wow. ready for a 3,000 home community to be put on top of that toxic mine site. I don't know if I'd want to live there. I don't know either. <laughs> but, you know, hey, miracles can happen. Oh you know, this is what happened in uh, in Boston when uh, Wynn wanted to build something in Boston. So they built the Encore Boston Harbor. They built it on an old uh, Monsanto absolute, like, filthy site that they had to clean down to, like, beautiful standards. Mm -hmm. If they can clean it, awesome. But like, yeah. there's a whole bunch of mines there and sinkholes and all that stuff. All of a yeah. sudden, your car, your your car, your house is just gonna fall in the hole. I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know if I'd live, the, if I would uh, buy the, a house there. The way that the homes are right now in this city, I mean, they'll sell. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> they'll sell. And it's right right near Lake Las Vegas. It's like right there. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get far enough away, but you want to spend Lake Las Vegas money, there you go. Yeah. And maybe you'll end up 400 feet underground. <laughs> uh, a trip back to SoCal after F1 weekend turned into an off-road adventure for many. The 15 at State Line was shut down for a bit due to that vicious dust storm that happened on Sunday the 19th. Instead of stay put, though, many people, uh, they just went to their Google Maps, and Google's like, hey, 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 I can help. Don't ever believe Google when it says it can help. It's like, hey, hey, you can save 50 minutes if you take this route. So hundreds of people did. It reminded me of your story as soon it's as I saw it. It's literally my yeah. story. Like, oh, okay, I guess I'll take this road. Okay. Uh -huh. boom, 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 boom. Go into the dirt. Off-roading. Yeah. You got Passats off-roading. You got Civics off-roading. All of these cars that are not meant for off-roading are off-roading. Right. And guess what happens? Tires fall off. Parts of cars fall off. Bumpers getting ripped mm -hmm. off. Thousands of dollars per car with damage. Stock in the dirt off SEMA, Blinken Road, which yeah. is the same road I was off of. Mm -hmm. 2016. Uh -huh. They do this all the time. They think all those dirt paths are roads. Right. Google has since apologized for the app directing Thanks, people to drive Google. in the dirt. Thanks, Google. They need to have like a way to say, listen, if you got a Jeep, maybe. <laughs> right. But right. if you don't, no. You're not doing it. It's not happening for you. <laughs> Sorry, bruh. I will say, though. If you know how to drive, you can do it. The problem is everyone around you thinks that they are like, you know, off-roading mm -hmm. and they, they get all ripped to, to shreds. On my car, if it wasn't for those two cars that were disabled in front of me, I would have made it the entire way through. I only broke one engine mount. That's all. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's all in time. Just it. one engine mount. Pretty sure a boulder hit it. <laughs> Uh, LVSportsBiz.com was the first to report that the Oakland Athletics are going to show off the real renderings of their proposed 33,000-seat stadium on nine acres of the Tropicana site on Monday. We're going to see what it really looks like. And I know what you're saying. Hey, we already saw renderings. Yeah, those were pretend. <laughs> yep, that was a lie. Remember, it was going to have the beautiful view of the Strip. There's going to be buildings in the way of that oh view. Gosh. Hey, you know that, uh, that like, the... 
grass. <laughs> yeah, gra- the grass around it. No, that will, those will be buildings and casinos. Yeah. And uh, also uh, that retractable roof. I don't think there's been a nine-acre site that has had a retractable roof. You need, like, more land to pull that off. Probably won't be retractable, although really, I don't think it needs to be. No. It's too hot here, especially mm-hmm. when baseball is going on. Just keep the thing closed. Yep. Whatever. Find yep. a way to get some glass and have the, you know, the, the get some try to get some real grass in there, mm-hmm. whatever the case. But it just so happens to line up with the start of Major League Baseball's winter meetings. So there's that. Yeah. I don't know. I'm still not. It's so weird. When I moved here in 06, if you told me baseball was coming to town, I would have been Football, over the moon. Hockey. Yes. I mean, you wouldn't believe anything was happening, but. The ownership of the A's are just garbage. Yeah. So I don't like it. I don't know. I would much rather have a team that I know is going to stink with new ownership that's, you know, ready to, like, love the community. Mm -hmm. The only reason they're loving us is because we're paying them $380 million. Right. Remember that. Stanley Cup champion Vegas, Golden Knights. You know what? We got to play the sound effect for them. They finally got back to their winning ways. Big win last night on the road against the second-place Canucks. 4-1 final. That's a break in a three-game losing streak. Yeah, that was a tough uh, road I mean, they, road trip. They, well, it certainly was. They thankfully have had, um, you know, they're still like one of the top in the league, mm-hmm. which is great. They've had a couple more games than some other people, so their points are a little higher. But once it all evens out, they're probably second or third in the entire league, which is great. Yeah. Uh, they're back at the Fortress against the Capitals tomorrow. Uh, meanwhile, the UNLV Rebels football, they're going to be facing Boise State Broncos in the Mountain West Championship. That's tomorrow at noon at Allegiant Stadium. And the Las Vegas Raiders are on a bye this week. They're going to face the Vikings here in Vegas the following Sunday. Las Vegas weather. Same temperatures, but not as many clouds. It's currently 40 degrees, high of 57, and just straight sunshine today. What a beautiful Friday. It's a pocket full of sunshine. Yes. 